Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I've got a very exciting video because I'm going to be revealing the exact eight tools that I used to run my $250,000 a year social media marketing agency. You guys are going to get a behind the scenes in depth look into what it takes to build a social media marketing agency and scale it past that six figure mark. And uh, I feel like a lot of you are going to be pleasantly surprised because as you'll see in just a bit, my setup is pretty minimalist. When building my setup, I wanted two things. Number one, stuff that could get the job done very well. And number two, not having much stuff. So that's really the two principles that I followed. And I'm not only gonna be giving you guys a look into what I use, but telling you why I use it, what I use it for, as well as giving you various options for yourself so that you don't just take the entertainment value away from this video, but that you can actually take practical recommendations from this video and apply it for your agency. So I'm super excited for this video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna start off with what's in my opinion, the most important piece of equipment for any online entrepreneur, for any digital marketer, which is your main tool, which is your laptop. Right here, I've got this 16 inch 2020 uh, MacBook Pro fully uh, spec'd out. Now, obviously I know that this is not a cheap MacBook. And when I started my agency, I really remember that I worked on a MacBook Pro at 13 inch, I believe, a 2015 model, which was very, very wrecked. Uh, and I managed to scale my agency to six figures with that and pass the six figure mark. So it's definitely not an excuse to not have a good laptop. But what I will say is that as soon as you make some money with your agency, definitely invest into a quality laptop. Honestly, it's gonna save you so much freaking headaches because honestly, if I add up all the wasted time with my old laptop, all the lagging and all the time that I had to wait for applications to load and sometimes it crash and all in all, it's just so much wasted time. And not only that, but it really angered me. And so it really took away some pleasure from the actual working. And so that is why when I started making money with my agency, I definitely just upgraded all the pieces of equipment that in my opinion were just not up to date uh, and that I could improve. And so my recommendation to you guys is that as soon as you start making some money with your online business, with your agency, go ahead and upgrade your laptop. It's such a great investment in my opinion. And it's the, it's the one thing that we use every single day, right? Our whole job revolves around this machine. And so it really pays a lot of dividends to have the best machine because it's one of those things that can give you an edge. So that is that for the laptop. And now onto the second tool. Now, the next thing is the YouTube algorithm. And you might be asking, Jaime, how does the YouTube algorithm help you run your agency and grow your agency? And the answer is not what you might expect. Now, every time you like a video, every time you comment on a video, it basically tells the YouTube algorithm that this video is pretty decent. And so it pushes it out to a lot more people and it makes my team and myself feel appreciated and uh, have a wider impact. So if you haven't gone ahead and smashed the like button, go ahead and do that right now. And with that being said, let's get right into the actual second tool. The second tool, sorry, the, the second tool is a pair of noise canceling uh, headphones. I personally use Beats. To be honest, I am aware that Bose is probably a better brand, a better pair of headphones. Uh, I'm completely aware of that. Personally, I like the aesthetics and, and that for me is quite an important part of the equipment and my, my tools and for the whole thing to be in unison and to look aesthetic. And so that for me is pretty important. And so every time I wear these headphones, someone just manages to tell me, hey, you should probably grab a pair of Bose headphones. But personally, I quite like these. And branding aside, I personally think that a pair of uh, noise canceling headphones or earphones is quite a good investment simply because it allows you to get in the flow and into your state uh, much quicker and it allows you to block out noises. And this is particularly important if you don't have an office that's quiet. I have the privilege to have an office that's very, very quiet. And so I probably wouldn't even need this, but uh, it, it really helps me get into the flow and anything that helps me be more productive and uh, get more stuff done. And so this is the second tool that I use for my agency. The third tool is a microphone and this is the one that I personally use. This was actually a present from a friend and it's called the Blue Snowball, I believe. I would have gotten the Blue Yeti, which is the common design that you may be used to from this brand. Um, but obviously it was a present and I actually really like this shape. Uh, and aesthetically, I think it looks much better than the Yeti, that's personally me. Um, and I actually just put it up there on my bookshelf, right there. Uh, and it looks sick with my book. So, and so as I told you guys, for me, aesthetic is part of it, um, but I definitely think that a microphone is a must have. And I use this microphone for team calls, for sales calls, for um, the live interviews that I'm hosting on my free private mentorship community on Facebook. By the way, if you guys haven't joined that, go ahead and check out the link in bio. But for any of those interviews, for recording looms, uh, for my team, for my clients as well, client communication, uh, for recording my screen, for recording YouTube videos sometimes, and a bunch of other uses. So anytime I'm having a call or I'm recording something on my laptop, I'm always gonna have this plugged in. And I personally think that having a crisp audio, good lighting, and a good background gives you a massive edge on a sales call. 
Why? Because you come off as much more professional. And so the prospect takes you more seriously, which in turn makes you more likely to close the client. So definitely cop one of these microphones. I think it's like 50 bucks. So really inexpensive, uh, but check it out. And if you can't afford this one, then I'm sure there are much cheaper options out there. So uh, that is that for the microphone. That is that for the third tool. Now onto the fourth one. The next tool is my stand-up desk. Uh, hopefully you guys are not seeing too many wires uh, down below. Uh, this one actually fell off. Stand-up desk, I use it almost every single day, especially after lunch, where my energy levels are not as high. So it helps me get my blood uh, flowing and will often have most of my calls, especially in the afternoon, which is usually when I have my sales calls and my team calls and my uh, student calls as well. Um, I will have all of those standing up and it really helps me gain more energy. And anything that I can buy that will give me back more energy, I'm definitely gonna cop. So if you guys can get yourself a stand-up desk, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, because sometimes you just got to stand up, get your uh, legs moving and uh, get back to work. So um, that is that for the fourth tool. Now onto the fifth tool. Boom, the fifth tool is my notebook, my personal notebook. And obviously I'm not going to show you guys too much of what's in here because it's top secret, but I do not know what I would do without a notebook. And I always have this laying on my table right in front of my computer. Um, and I truly believe this is massive. And I'll talk about this in just a second, but having a place where you can knock down ideas, where you can put your thoughts into paper, as well as write down quick notes and to-dos from calls that you're having is incredibly vital. And on this notebook, I'll structure uh, YouTube content ideas, for example. Uh, I will also, for example, prep for sales calls on this notebook, prep for interviews on this notebook. Uh, for example, I'll give you guys a little peek inside my preparation for my last interview uh, on my community. Uh, so that's this and that, okay, and, and all the questions that I wrote for that. But having a notebook where you can prepare for calls, where you can note down ideas, where you can actually diagnose a client. For example, when I hop on a sales call with a client, I'm actually writing stuff down and I'm and diagnosing their current situation, okay, uh, which is very important because then when I pitch my service, it might be different and it's going to be personalized to what they actually need um, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So long story short, Definitely get yourself a notebook and definitely always have your notebook with you on your table. Note down ideas that you get, note down relevant points that you get from sales calls and definitely prepare for your sales calls on paper. Uh, it actually helps you a ton more, I've found. Uh, so that is that for the fifth tool. And now onto the sixth tool. The sixth tool is this box light right here. And not only this box light, but right behind it, there's a ring light. And I use the box light for recording videos just like this. I use the ring light typically for my TikTok videos. Um, but the point here is lighting makes a difference, as you can obviously see with this clip, right? The, the lighting is not as great, and so obviously the quality of the clip is not as great. And I'm not saying you should have a ring light or a box light if you're not creating content. If you do, then absolutely yes, right? But even if you hop on a sales call, having good lighting is vital. And if you're not next to a window like I am, where I get a lot of natural light, then either move your desk close to that or simply make sure that you have artificial light sources that actually give you good lighting because otherwise the quality of the call is not gonna be as great and you're not gonna look as professional. And that, my friends, makes a difference. So that is the sixth tool. Now onto the seventh tool. Now, the seventh tool is a whiteboard. Now, let me explain what I use my whiteboard for and why I think it's actually vital. And as I told you guys, with my notebook, it's pretty much the same use, right? Uh, except that a whiteboard, I have much more space and it actually helps me structure my ideas much better because I've got more space and I can draw little diagrams, I can draw uh, different structures and it helps me visualize my ideas so much better. So if you guys have the space for it, I definitely recommend getting a whiteboard and some pens. Obviously, I use it also for content. You guys might have watched some of those videos on my channel, um, but a whiteboard is vital, in my opinion, for any online entrepreneur, for any person who's working at home, just to have that real estate uh, where you can actually draw and actually put your ideas onto a surface. And every time I do this, I get so many more breakthroughs than if I just kept them in my head. So that is the seventh tool, and uh, now onto the final tool. And the eighth tool is the Aura Ring. You guys might have already heard about this ring, uh, because I think it's, a, it's very common in a lot of entrepreneurs in, in the online space. Uh, but the reason why, it's not the aura ring that I quite like. I mean, obviously I like the design and I like the, the piece of tech uh, and I think it's very accurate. I think it's a great piece of tech. But before this, I actually had the Within's Aura. It's quite a bit more expensive than the aura ring. And the only reason why I switched to the aura ring uh, was simply because that gave me uh, some Bluetooth issues and I could not repair it in the end. Uh, which was a bit tragic, uh, but I had to cop my aura ring. And now the reason why I think an aura ring is important, it's not vital, but it's important, is because it makes the unconscious conscious. And that's one of the things that I'm always looking to do with my business and my life, right? I wanna make all those things that are unconscious, conscious, right? And bring them to my awareness. For example, how I sleep, how I eat, right? Maybe it could be what my team members feel and, and think of the culture. 
right? If you don't ask them, then they're never gonna tell you. It could be, for example, the satisfaction of my students. Obviously, they rave about it during the course, but at the end of the program, I always have them uh, fill out a survey. The same thing with my clients. At the end of our partnership, I always have them fill out a survey because I'm trying to make the unconscious conscious. Uh, and so that's what the ring does. And it does that for an area of your life, which is pretty important, which is sleep. Now I will put my hands up and say that I'm not the best sleeper. And the reason why that is because as of now, I haven't placed as much importance on that as I probably should. And instead of making my time in bed a priority, which should be around eight hours, um, I've made my sleep efficiency a priority. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make the six and a half or seven hours that I'm in bed uh, as quality as possible. And that's what I'm currently focused on, but I'm slowly shifting and I'm being a bit more strict with my sleep schedule. So that is the Oura Ring and that is that for my eight tools. Final thing that I will say is this video could have been a bit underwhelming for a lot of you. Uh, maybe you thought I had this incredible setup and I'm not gonna lie, probably three months ago, I had a better setup with a monitor and all that stuff. But basically one of the things that I'm doing right now is I'm trying to be as minimalist as possible. Number one, because I don't like clutter. And number two is, is simply because I think minimalism is great for focus. And so I used to have my monitor and I used to have my laptop. Uh, and yes, you think you're getting a lot of stuff done because you can move things around much quicker, but it also distracts quite a lot because you're always multitasking. And that's what I found myself doing. And that's why I'm transitioning to a much more minimalist as setup. Yes, I might get a monitor, but if I do, then I have my laptop just sit idle connected to the, the monitor. Uh, and right now I really like my MacBook Pro uh, to do that. So the final thing that I will say is just make sure you buy things that are high quality and of high purpose. Don't just buy things that are okay. Like for example, I had this thing which I barely ever use, which is a kind of like a notepad. Um, sometimes I use it for you know explaining things to my students. Sometimes I'll pull this up with a pen that I have right there. And I'll basically write on it when I'm giving an explanation, but I can do this with my mouse and it's not vital, right? Yes, you get more quality with this, but it's not 100X in comparison to the mouse. This is a good example of not a vital purchase. Uh, so that is the final thing that I will say on the tools and the equipment side of things. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, if you did drop a big thumbs up, uh, my team and I would really, really appreciate it. Also leave them below in the comments any questions you may have on this video, and I'll be sure to check those out. And the final thing I will say is, if you haven't checked out my free masterclass on how to sign and keep four-figure SMMA clients, go ahead and check it down below. Uh, there's nothing for sale, and literally the feedback I'm getting, people implementing this stuff, the, the templates, the scripts that I give you in there, implementing it and signing clients. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.